Yeah, we're back. And Mike, do you happen to remember where you were in your uh, soliloquy? Uh, so let's see. I believe that I was talking about sticking with the 35% okay. reduction, okay. Uh, but adding cuts All right. to the tune of about 200,000, which would bring us to a number because I'm focusing on a number right now okay. or a percentage of expenditures, which although they're very good at just over two, and the increase, I think getting under two is what's going to be seen and appreciated more. Um, we don't have a very, you know, very much control over the mill rate right now because of the revenue shortfall that we're probably going to experience, but we don't know to what level. So um, if we get another 200, if we, if we do $200,000 worth of cuts, okay. that brings us to a point of 1.88 on the operating budgets reduction. Um, and we get 2.44 on mill rate increase. Okay. That's part of the discussion that we're having, having right now. Yeah. Right. And before, because uh, Lou, your motion was just 35, just, just 35, 35. Straight. just straight. All right. Before we asked for that to be amended, Ken, I want to give you an opportunity to talk, even though there's a motion on the table. Thank um, you. Appreciate that. Oh, you, you, you deserve your board member. You deserve it. Um, you had a question for uh, for Joe Mr. Mazza. Mazza. It's <laughs> And this is related related to the dedicated road fund, Joe. So put put that old hat, <laughs> hat back on. Remember the. Go ahead. We have roughly nine hundred and fifty-ish thousand dollars, I believe, in the dedicated uh -huh. road fund. Can you please? So I see. And the reason that the question comes up is road maintenance. Summer we have budgeted three twenty-five for this yep. budget and one hundred and fifty for winter four seventy-five. So my immediate thinking is, how can we use some of this dedicated road fund money? Because obviously that has no bearing on our undesignated reserve fund. When and where are we able to use the dedicated road fund money? The uh, dedicated road fund is, uh, by definition, set up for dedicated roads. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> okay. Bang, drop the mic. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll see you. Appropriate Tip your waiters. Uh, no, no, seriousness. Really? That's what it is. Uh, our town engineer, Jim Portley, would tell you the same thing if he was here. What, what that was established for, and what it is established for, is when there is um, a subdivision, we ask the developer to put uh, so much into this fund to repair roads in the vicinity of this subdivision uh, in the future to uh, repair the roads that would lead to the subdivision. And it's almost a contractual arrangement and that we will only use those funds to repair those roads which lead into this subdivision. So it's not, it can't be used for just general road maintenance. The definition, so. And that's why it's, it's dedicated for, and, and it's all over town, it's not just one particular area. But I believe it's been a few, we don't, we haven't tapped into it. Oh yes we have. Last year it was only thirty or forty thousand dollars. Yeah, that's because we only used it for one particular area. So my question is when you get into the developments that are out there and they're primarily cul-de-sac type places, I would mm -hmm. guess. When you say leads into, there are roads, Moose Hill Road goes up to Landon Way. Landon Way is probably on that list. Mm -hmm. What about Moose Hill Road itself? Because we that leads into Landon's Way. And we did paving and milling on in an overlay last year on Moose Hill Road. We're not allowed to use that money for that? We probably could. Okay, but I can't use that whole winter maintenance budget. I couldn't wipe that maintenance uh, budget out of the operating budget and substitute it with funds from the dedicated road fund. Can't do that. Right, but there, we have a number of roads and maybe they aren't it, on it's, the it's not for, Ken, it's not for chip sailing, okay? And, and that's mainly what your summer road maintenance budget is for. These are for major repairs. But in, it is possible, though, that some of this maintenance 
repairs takes place in areas that are subdivisions? It, it's possible, but I couldn't tell you right now what it's for. Okay. But I, I couldn't just say. Instead, could, my point is so. The point is, it's. It, I don't. I can't. I don't see where. You know, when the check is paid for any given road work that we do, mm -hmm. I'm guessing that there are probably times wherein we could have used dedicated road fund money, and we didn't. If we could, we do, and that's up to the town engineer. So, because he he would rather use the dedicated road fund than take it out of the operating budget. And in my seven and a half years, we have used it when we can, and and, and we use it on other projects where we shouldn't have, we would lose all our credibility with developers for future uh, developments when we ask them to donate to the uh, dedicated road fund. When was the last time we had a development where we had somebody? Uh, I couldn't tell you that unless I looked at the spreadsheet. Yeah, we, and I don't have it in front of me. If we don't have, yeah. I was looking, I thought I had a copy of this, uh, the, the last spreadsheet, but I think the last reconciliation we got was uh, for July, uh, well, June 30th of 2016. And I, I, I don't know whether you recall seeing that or not, but there were uh, pluses and minuses to that. Yeah. There, were, there were things that came on, there were expenses that, that, that uh, were, were expended from that account. I got to tell you, Ken, I fought this battle 10 years ago, uh, it, 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 maybe more than 10 years ago, right? I think, yeah, Gene, I, think Gene, I, think, I think Gene was first selectman. Yeah. I, tried, I, I tried to use the argument that it was uh, because of the way the ordinance is written, written, it was for the betterment or the, uh, for the better, betterment of the roads for the traveling uh, public or something along those lines. I can't remember exactly what it was. I thought we could use it to buy public works trucks. And I pushed it, I pushed it at the, with the board of selectmen, and Joe remembers this, I pushed it pretty hard that they went and got a legal opinion about the appropriate use of those uh, funds based on the contractual nature uh, that is established with the developers when the contributions are, are made and required. And that's an, is that by ordinance or is it a contractual agreement? It's contractual. contractual. So um, I, I lost that battle. Uh, Thinking, thinking, I, I thinking think, much the same way you I, are I think, right now. I think it should be revisited. You know, yeah, your, we can. Your, it's not going to be revisited. Your predecessor tried for a number of years, too. John Trotter. <laughs> Unsuccessful. All right. We'll, we'll, but we, we'll, we, have we'll to, see. We have to protect the sanctity of that. <laughs> we'll <Okay>. see. <laughs> Is there anything else? All right. All right. That's it for now. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. All right. All right. Um, I'd like to uh, put Mike's... Uh, Thoughts into a motion? We have no. We can't. Uh, we have a motion on the table. You need a motion to amend it, and Lou has got to do that. Okay. So I'm going to amend my previous motion. You want to second it? Um, that Robert. with the 35 percent cut uh, that we have uh, that we've been discussing that I previously put forward, but that we add to that. Um, a total of two hundred thousand dollars in cuts in spending, and I would go back to the figure I was talking about earlier. I would divide that one hundred twenty to the uh, board of ed and eighty thousand to the board of selectmen. Do we have a second? I'll second. Okay. Second. Further discussion. This gets back to the nickel and diming. To me. If we're going to go for 200, I, I do think there's some places where we can make cuts without losing heads and without losing a swim program. And I would, and I think the public, based on the failed referendum we had last year when they said $200,000 is de minimis, uh, which I think it is, uh, I'm the opinion that you have to talk at least $500,000 for it to be a cut. And if you do $500,000, and 35%, you only have a 2.09% um, tax increase, which I think is too low, actually. And so I would err, I would raise the, if you take 45% cut on ECS and a $500,000 cut, that's a 2.43% tax increase. To me, it looks at least as if you're reading the paper and 
you're you're addressing the concerns of those that want to see tax cuts. A hundred or two hundred to me just isn't a cut. Um, the you know we can quibble over 30, 35, 50 percent of BCS, but again, you can get to less than two and a half percent. I think you've at least addressed the issue. It's a 45 percent cut to ECS and a five hundred thousand dollar cut to budget. Um, you know, do you do 300 Board of Ed, 200 Town, or 250, 250? I, I, I personally see more room on the Town side than I do on the Board of Ed side, but that's just me. Uh, everybody has their own opinion. And I, I, like I said, 100 or $200,000 cut <coughs> isn't a cut. It, but I, I see it in the context of the original department head budgets, which or proposals, requests for budgets, actually, um, which I understand is a certain amount of you know a certain amount of wish list That's there. Wish, yeah. I mean, there's a certain amount, but nonetheless, there were significant adjustments already made before it got gets to this table, um, and and we saw some of those. I knocked some some of those off myself at, at, at the first time, and I would have been prepared to do it if they had come through, but the fact of the matter is they weren't there. Um, and just, just the, the town was, it cut over $660,000. Now, is that all just frivolous stuff? No, it's stuff that somebody thinks is a good idea somewhere. Um, it might be a good idea, but just not this year. So it, I, don't, I don't really accept the argument that 200000 is not a lot, because some of that 600000 is perfectly valid. And likewise with the schools, there's hundreds of thousands of dollars that have already been cut out. I don't in any way mean to suggest that the people that crafted the budgets haven't worked very hard at getting to the numbers that they've gotten to. I think right. we all acknowledge that the increases are as low or lower than they have been for many, 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 many years. Mm -hmm. um, Again, I, I think that there, I would venture there's enough to information out there, or enough non-information out there that I think we can, it's, I'd be a little more on the conservative side. Yeah, the thing is they, they had an increase of this Board of Ed of 1.49%, and basically what we're doing is we're, everyone is giving and taking a little bit. You know, we're basically um, reducing the revenue side, and you know, obviously both departments, uh, uh, you know, Board of Selectmen and, and Board of Ed, uh, they're cutting a little bit. So it's not a question of just having substantially large cut. It's a matter of you know both in the revenue and the cost area are you know basically are, are you know providing uh, some concessions. Yeah, we have, I, I brought up revenue the other day too. I still am of the opinion, perhaps incorrectly, that we can get a couple hundred thousand dollars more in revenue. You know, the one spot I mentioned was interest. Um, so that, that would go a long way toward the five hundred thousand dollars. We can make some of that money up in revenue, raise golf course fees, charge a thousand dollars a round. <laughs> <laughs> You pick up the first round. <laughs> Lou, and I, Lou and I will be there. Uh, actually, I don't think you can. I think Joe's right. You can't raise golf course above fifteen dollars a round. You I agree. Raise people. You might be able to raise the uh, annual fees a fair amount, but not the. Uh, well, you know, not the round. going back in history a little bit to uh, December and January, we all participated in the original submissions of by the departments in both education and town, and we saw the cuts. We actually pre uh, watched those meetings and saw it go practically in half. I think uh, the town uh, reduced the requests of their department heads by almost 50 percent. And uh, I know that there were many budgets, uh, many uh, requests uh, in the education area that were also cut way back. You mentioned twice, uh, Ken, about the uh, swim team. But that's only twelve thousand dollars. He's, he's saying he wants I'm to keep it. I, just, I want to keep it. We don't have. We want to keep the twelve thousand yeah, dollars. They worked hard for their swim team. I oh, know I, I know, but I do, do. you see that as dramatically <laughs> affecting the numbers that are on the table? No, not in any way. You don't need five hundred thousand dollars for the swim team. <laughs> Next year. <laughs>
It's a lot of laps. All right. Okay. Have we exhausted the discussion on this, or I think so. does anybody Who else? That? I, I just want to add with these changes, it, it drops the percentage change to 1.88%. So that's under right. 2%. Uh, and the increase in the mill rate is below the 2.5% to 2.44%. I think the reduction in revenue and the reduction in expenditures is is a reflection of the, you know, the effort that the town and the Board of Education put in, what we've put in to try and come up with a budget that we hope will pass the referendum the first time through, and I can, so I can, I can support this proposal. And likewise, uh, I think it's a very Me good too. budget, and we worked hard to get to where we are. Um, no more comments, I'll call the question. All in favor is which, which what is this? The thirty 30, and the thirty five and two hundred split um, eighty and one twenty. One twenty so one twenty and eighty. Eighty to the board of selectmen, one twenty to the board, the board of education. Two point four four percent. Two point four four. Okay. And uh, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? I'm gonna abstain. Abstain. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Close to unanimous, but not quite. <laughs> not quite. Uh, Gentlemen, no, I'm not going to abstain. I think that's both. I'm going to vote against it. You are? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, next item. Um, we, at our um, regular meeting on the 15th, we'll be uh, voting on uh, the bond resolutions. The Board, of Edu uh, the Board of Selectmen will prepare the bond resolutions for us for that meeting. And You mean the meeting on the 20th? Yeah, yeah, the next Monday, right? Yeah, you said yeah. the 15th. Oh, I'm sorry, 15th. Did I, the meeting on the 20th. Yes, the 20th, I'm sorry. This, this, um, this, yeah, that would be Wednesday. Wednesday. That's a little quick. All right, so you will prepare the bond questions for us, and or you you won't personally, but we'll have them prepared. Now, uh, you're accepting, or we'll accept one additional bond referendum. Bring it to the, yeah, bring it to the board. So I'll put it, I, I'd say put it together. Okay. We'll have that discussion on Monday. All right. Um, what's that? You mean the cuts? No. Okay. I'm going to leave them at your discretion. Okay. Okay. Anything else that we need to? Not for this meeting. I think we've cleared the agenda. Thank you for the honest discussion up here. I think this was pretty healthy uh, ex exhibition of uh, discussion. Oh, That's right. Yeah. Um, with that, uh, public comment. Anyone wants to uh, address the board with uh, comments at this point? We will not be entertaining questions, but comments certainly. Chris Moore, 151 Whitfield Street, um, on the Board of Education. Could not be here for the earlier part of the meeting uh, because we had our Board of Education meeting. Um, I just wanted to, I guess, fill in the Board of Finance. We had the representatives, uh, uh, Vinnie Candeloria and Sean Scanlon, uh, come to our meeting and fill us in a little bit on Hartford. I know that's a huge topic that you all are uh, considering, and certainly the ECS cut um, looms. I think there's no doubt that there's going to be um, cuts to ECS to Guilford. Um, but the other one that you know is on the table that is even more troublesome, I think, long term is the is the pension issue and the, the ask from the governor for the municipalities to help support uh, the state pension gap. Um, we this evening um, voted to back a Connecticut Association of Public School Superintendents resolution to really make some, take some hard looks at the pension system at the state level if the municipalities are going to have to contribute to it because we didn't, you know, really get involved in designing the system and yet, and if we're going to have to pay for it, we should have some say in, in how it's done. Um, regarding your vote, um, you know, I was, I'm a bit disappointed to see uh, cuts in the budget side um, because uh, I think this was, is a very good budget. Um, the revenue side, I think, is we're going to have to make up regardless. Um, so I don't intend, I don't think anyone intends to send out new tax bills once the state um, decides on what their budget is. Uh, so 
therefore we end up in the situation where we're trying to make the cuts at that point. Um, so I guess my plea <laughs> to the public is that, you know, this, I, I understand why you did what you have to do as far as some cuts on both the town and the board of that side. Um, but passing this budget, while it, um, you know, is still an increase, uh, actually probably doesn't mean that we're getting anything close to what we're going to need to continue the schools where we are. And if we were to not pass this budget, the impact could be much more severe. Um, so I understand where you're coming from, but I hope we can pass this budget. So that's my comment. I guess it's not a question. Thank you. That's Thank comments. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else? Going once, going twice, three times. So. Um, I'd like to take the uh, opportunity to thank the uh, um, Board of Selectmen, the Department Heads, the uh, Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education, uh, and all your Department Heads and everyone who had a hand in crafting these budgets. This is the culmination of work that I believe starts back in September at the Board of Ed, September, Octo October time frame for the, uh, for the town side, um, and we certainly appreciate all your work. Um, we appreciate the, the, those that have uh, come to our meetings and provided us with some input, and uh, we hope you get out and vote. Um, you probably can suspect how I would like you to vote, but it's more important that you get out and vote, and that's for those in the viewing audience. So with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.